The Royal Bahamas Police Force celebrating 179 years of existence this year. In celebration of Police Month, ZNS will feature individual divisions of the 3,000-member force. Tonight, Vaughn Albright reports on the police control room where your 911 calls end up. The police control room is the nerve center of all its operations nationally. Housed in the police headquarters, the 24-hour operation has the latest technology, which has resulted in quicker response times. Sergeant E. Laurel Fowler trains dispatchers. We have an E911 system. Uh, it's a computerized phone. Uh, you can now see the numbers that are calling into control room. So when you enter your matters, uh, you place those numbers into the system. We build a database so that if there's a call that we would have to go back to, you'd be able to log the phone numbers uh, to be able to assist that person if they're unable to give you the address. Uh, like I said, the CAD system, it's just a computerized incident form. Uh, we also have the AVL. We're able to see where all of our cars are so we can limit the amount of communication by asking them where they are. We're able to just go ahead and find where they are and send the nearest car to the call. And since 2011, EMS personnel have been working alongside police in the control room. EMS supervisor Deborah Roll said it now eliminates duplication as police and ambulances can respond to a scene quickly. It has been extremely beneficial. I'm number one with the safety of our crew. Once we can get the officers there at the same time the ambulance arrives, we ensure that our crews are safe. Before that, what, what would have been the fear? The fear of being attacked and actually riding into a live scene, that, that, could, that, that, that really happens. Both Sergeant Fowler and Roll described co-workers as family. Last month, they handled 19,000 calls. Asked if the stress of the job is sometimes taken home, Sergeant Fowler replied. Once you've seen one or you've had one call, uh, you know, it, it's normal. It becomes normal, so you don't stress about it. And yes, 911 receives prank calls also. Oh yeah, we have persons, um, they, they think it's exciting to play with the emergency services. So they would call and they would give us some false information. The crews would respond and there is nothing there. Or they would call and play with the phone. And we would have to um, talk to them about playing with the phone or hang up on them. But I, I'm hoping that that would change. Talking about change, Superintendent Brian Miller, who heads the control room, said it is a fulfilling career. This is a place, it's all about service. Once you come here, it's all about serving and helping people and their emergency need. And you have to be humble, honest, confidential. This is the area. Because we take many firearms off the road. We deal with domestic matters, serious domestic matters. And you have to stay on the phone with people when they call in. So it's a good career. And if you want to be a police dispatcher, Sergeant Fowler defines the qualities you should possess. As someone who has good uh, moral character, compassion, um, they have to be able to empathize with persons that are calling, uh, not sympathize because you don't want to get too caught up in the, in the call. You have to learn how to control that call and keep the callers calm. 911 dispatchers, a vital component in the war against crime. I am Vaughn Aubrey, ZNS Network News.